What's up guys, my name is Ace, and one of the things I really like about how they've been handling Modern Warfare 3 is the addition of consistent aftermarket parts. More specifically, the aftermarket parts that tend to be like conversion kits for a gun that will totally change up how that gun works, because at least for me, I always find it really fun and enjoyable to try something totally different, and that's what many of these aftermarket parts tend to offer. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a break from my typical fact-based breakdown sort of videos, and this one's just going to be for fun. I wanted to share a list of a bunch of aftermarket parts that I would love to see going forward in Modern Warfare 3 at some point. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be tying this to specific guns and say that I want this gun to have this kit, Instead, I just wanted to share a list of the types of aftermarket parts that I'd like to see, and I really don't care which gun they'd end up on, although I would hope that it would be for a gun that doesn't already have aftermarket parts on it. Also, another thing I want to point out, most of these are actually inspired by guns that we have already seen in the past in the Call of Duty franchise, but some of these we haven't seen for many, many years, and I do think it would be interesting to see them added to Modern Warfare 3, or at least something like them. And let's dive right into my list here. The first thing I would love to see added to the game that I thought was really interesting that we saw back in Call of Duty Ghosts and it returned with Infinite Warfare. This is a kit that would act like the Ripper SMG. So I would like to see this on an existing SMG in the game, but effectively with this, you were able to toggle between SMG mode and assault rifle mode. So that made it a hybrid gun that you could toggle on the fly. If you're going into a close range engagement situation, you swap over to SMG mode. If you want to take a gunfight at longer ranges, you can hit a button, a different sight will even pop up on it when you swap over to that mode. And now it's in assault rifle mode with a different fire rates, different damage profile and everything. And that's just something I'd love to see return. I think it would fit well as an aftermarket part potentially, or who knows, maybe even just a brand new gun in the game. In either case, it's just something I really enjoyed playing with back in those days. It made for a really interesting gameplay experience being able to swap between those modes on the fly. Next up, let's get into the LMG category. And something that I feel is really missing from the LMG category in this game is a three shot kill, super slow fire rate LMG. And that's something I feel could fit quite nicely with a kit as well. So have that rate of fire balanced at, I don't know, roughly 430, 450 rounds per minute with a three shot kill, which will give us a very competitive time to kill potential, assuming we're hitting our shots. But with a super slow fire rate, it would also be extremely unforgiving, where the moment you miss one shot, your time to kill now skyrockets. I was actually very surprised to see that we don't have anything like that in this game, and I think it would be an excellent addition and something that could be really easily tacked on to one of the LMGs that we've already got in the game. Next up, let's move into the sniper rifle category, and something I was thinking about with sniper rifles is we don't really have any sniper rifles that have like an interesting firing mechanic as of right now. They're all pretty basic. You fire your shot, you get your kill. And this got me thinking back to Black Ops 3 with the P06 sniper rifle. And with this one, it was a charged three round burst sniper rifle. So there was a bit of a pre-fire delay where you had to sort of hold down that trigger before it would actually fire. But then when it did, it would fire a really quick three round burst and a very tight grouping. And that had a tendency to lead to some very consistent one burst kills with that even at really long ranges, and I really enjoyed using that gun. I thought it was very interesting. It was a nice change of pace from the typical sniper rifles. There's a nice extra tracking skill gap with that as well, because the shot doesn't fire immediately when you pull the trigger. You have to stay on target as you're pulling the trigger and track your target until the gun actually goes off. And I think this is perfectly suited to being added as a kit to an existing sniper rifle in this game. I don't think you'd need a brand new gun or anything. Just add a kit like this, and honestly, it doesn't even need to be a three-round burst. Even just a charged one-shot sniper rifle with a really good one-shot kill potential, I think that could be a lot of fun, and it could really mix things up and add something interesting to the sniper rifle category that we don't currently have. After that, let's talk a little bit about shotguns, and something I think would be an interesting addition is a kit that forces you to use a slug, but then in doing so, it could actually be a very solid method of using a slug, like better than if you were to just select the slug attachment. Because honestly, in this game, the slugs on shotguns are just generally not that great for Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer. You can kind of make them work, but you're generally just going to be better off without the slug. So I think adding a slug kit to like the Model 680, for instance, and making that a really solid choice so you could actually be quite consistent with it. But then, of course, balancing it appropriately by maybe locking off certain other attachment slots, because you can do that with the kits in this game, or just providing key downsides that compensate for the fact that you'll actually have a very consistent one-shot kill slug shotgun. That's just an area that I feel is pretty severely lacking in this game currently. And I mean, when you look at something like the longbow and how powerful that is as a sniper rifle, why can't we have a slug shotgun that's at least reasonably good? I'm not even saying it should be as good as the Jack Tyrant kit on the longbow, but just something that's at least a whole lot more viable than we currently have access to when it comes to slug shotguns. 
Next up, getting back into the LMG category, something I feel is lacking that would be really well suited to an aftermarket part would be a chainsaw kit. So you're always locked into hip fire, but you can kind of like aim down sight, but not actually aim down sight for a slightly tighter spread. I think that could be really interesting, especially if they balance some of the other stats accordingly. Although of course, a big thing that pops into my mind is we have tax stance in this game, which in a way means that you can kind of turn any gun into the same sort of performance as what we saw with the previous LMG chainsaw kits in the past where you have your regular hip fire or your slightly tighter hip fire as you try to like aim down sight because you can't get fully aim down sight. That's kind of what we've got with tax stance. But in saying that, with a chainsaw kit on an LMG, they could balance it in such a way that it would be even more beneficial to use it as a chainsaw compared to using tax stance on other LMGs because in that case, when you're using that kit, you would be completely locked out of even having the option of aiming down sight fully. So I'm not entirely convinced that we need this sort of a kit, but I think it still could be an interesting addition. I love the aesthetic of a chainsaw LMG, and I do think it would be really well suited to the aftermarket part system. Then when it comes to the next style of kit, this could actually go for either assault rifles or SMGs, but it's something I've noticed that we just don't have in Modern Warfare 3 with Modern Warfare 3 weapons specifically. This is some sort of integrated suppressor kit for an SMG or an assault rifle, or even both maybe, that would be nice to see. And this one's a lot more basic and straightforward than the previous ones I've been talking about. It's not like it completely changes how a gun would perform, but I think it would be cool to have an aftermarket part that gives you an integrated suppressor as part of the kit itself, and then perhaps adjust some of the other stats accordingly as well. And just to lean into that even more, it could also have subsonic ammunition as part of the kit, which means when you kill enemy players, you don't get that little skull that appears above their death location for their teammates. Now I know some guns do have integrated suppressed barrels, although not many for Modern Warfare 3 off the top of my head at least. But this is just something that, again, I feel it would be well suited to an aftermarket part. It would be something fairly easy to implement as well since you're not entirely changing how the gun performs or anything. And I would definitely be on board with a kit like this. And then finally, I've got one last kit recommendation here that I'd love to see added to Modern Warfare 3. And this is another burst kit for an SMG. Now, I know we have the Jack Headhunter kit on the Rival 9, but what I'd want to see for this new kit is something a lot more along the lines of the Chicom from Black Ops 2. So super high fire rate, really low burst delay, super spammable burst SMG. I think that would be an excellent addition to this game. I would absolutely love to see that. It would perform very, very different from the Jack Headhunter kit on the Rival 9. And I think something like that would be really well suited to like the HRM 9 or the Striker 9 or maybe even the Ram 9. And with that, that's pretty much it. Those are just a bunch of aftermarket part or kit ideas or even brand new weapon ideas. Honestly, some of these would just be well suited to a brand new gun as well. But just different types of weapons that I feel would perform very different from what we've currently got available in the game. And those are always my favorite types of aftermarket parts. The ones that really fundamentally change how a gun works and provide us a very unique gameplay experience that we can't get anywhere else in this game. Now, of course, these are all just the ideas that popped into my mind and the possibilities are really endless with this. So this is where I wanna hear from you guys in those comments down below. What kind of future aftermarket part ideas, especially like conversion kits for a gun, would you like to see going forward in Modern Warfare 3? Just let me know all of those thoughts and ideas in those comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.